Sissy for my Sunday wrap up and my TBR for next week. I have finished um, two books this weekend. I finished The Holiday Bride by Kit Morgan. That is about Amelie, A E M M Y, that is her nickname, and Garrett. He falls victim to one of the persons sending away mail order brides for people in the community. And when she comes to meet him, there is a big shock. And she brings her father along with her. So he is relent, um, relentant, whatever. Um, let's just say he refuses to marry her. He's a little bit rude at times. And she ends up giving him a little bit of a hard time when he finally starts to court her. And there is a twist in the plot, as always. And with Kit Morgan's books, she always has a villain in it. Well, she's got two of them this time. It was really good. I gave it, I think, a 4.5 stars. The only problem I had was this man that's supposed to be going after them. He never come out in the story, and I'm wondering what happens to him. So, I'm guessing he gets disappeared. Uh, I don't know. It never come out about that part. Anyways, it was a good, cute, clean story. A lot of twists and um, plots, but... There was one character, she still ain't got what's coming to it. And I'm hoping in the last book, or in the, because Bernice gets her own um, story, because she has a mentor from last book, Mr. Tilly's aunt. Well, she's still there <laughs> in this book. And that aunt, she really needs psychological help. Oh. Anyway, she coaches Bernice, tells her she needs to do this, she needs to do that. Well, Bernice needs to get a damn backbone. So I'm hoping she does because this is getting a little bit annoying. Okay, anyways, the um, Wyoming Tough, Diana Palmer. I started that last night and finished it last night. I'm a very um, addicted to her books. This series is one of my favorites. There are six books so far, and I plan to read through the whole series again, and the last book is the new book that was released, and I'm excited about it, and I got to chapter six so far. I'm slowly reading through this. I read this at nap time, because at night, we have really bad lighting <coughs> in the bedroom, excuse me. And that's 10 where I tend to read. So I'm slowly working through this. It's really good. I loved it. Love it. Not loved it. I ain't finished it yet. <laughs> but I'm loving it. And um, I'm dying. Matt calls me a che cheater. I cheat on books. <laughs> I'm really so tempted to skip to the end to see who she ends up with. Just because I'm getting a little bit anxious to see. But I know, no, you're not supposed to do that. But sometimes I do. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's what I've done this weekend. And my TBR for next week. Let me go ahead. I've not finished the Amish Bride. I, mean, I need more lead in this pencil. Let's see. I finished the Holiday Bride one. Come on. Stupid pencil. It's worse in school. There we go. Um, I did not get where I want to in the Amish Bride. It's going to take me longer than I expected. But it usually does with physical books. Uh, I am going to start the strong one. By... Who is that by? Through the Cut, Cut, Cutter Creek series. There's different authors that write the series, that co-write together, so I have to look, um, Vivi Holt, I love her, she is so good, 
And this is about um, a woman. Here, I'll read you the synopsis. Sarah Songguan is a woman on the run in attempt to find a place with her neighbors. The Alcapache chief has promised her to a soldier at Fort Smith, and Sarah's determined not to be traded or battled like an ornament. She strikes out on her own, leaving behind everyone and everything she has ever known. However, a woman traveling alone in 1866 Montana Territory can be can fall prey to the unscrumptious men. She must confront her fears and draw an inner strength she didn't know she had, as well as a newfound hope in God and if she survives. Bill Hover is tired and lonely cowboy. After all, after four years long of fighting war between the states, he returns home to his family ranch in Montana, only to discover it's no longer his home. He heads south to Cutter Creek where he encounters a beautiful woman with those feisty spirits that takes his breath away. But she's hiding a secret, and her past is about to catch up with her. But Bill turns to God in hope that guidance encounters a new kind of love. Set in a beautiful, wild, untamed 19th century Montana, this novella will take you back in the journey time to a prologalist life of the pioneer in the western frontier. So, I'm excited about that. I am going to be reading that with Nicole and Lena. And I'm also wanting to start the, um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat, his mail order Valentine's. And this one is, is Julian, ain't it? It's got to be Julian. There's only Miss Garrett, Julian. Yeah, Julian. Okay. Julian gets a mail order bride from the matron ladies off forum. There's a Mercy, Martha, Mad, Madry, and their newest partner, Mathra. Oh, I can't say these names. They're so funky. Anyways, um, they sit away for a mail order bride. They kidnapped her after she gets off the stage. Technically, not kidnapped her. But, you know, they grab her and they explain. But anyways, um, they hire her on as a maid to work in the Van Daniel, Van, Van Daniel household in Sark to discover their husband to be. Has no idea she's coming. And she ends up falling in, t in love with him and the town. So, I can't wait to see what this one is like. Mostly, the last, was it... There was the preacher, there was Morgan, there was Garrett, now there's Julia, and the next one is Je Jess something. Okay, after them four, then it will be the, um, Bernice, yeah, after, let's see, or is it these two? I've read, sorry, I've read so many of them, it ain't even funny. It was preacher, Morgan. Garrett. Okay, I've read the three in that town so far. And the next one is um, Julian and then Jess. So after them two, it'll be Bernice's story. So I'm a little bit excited because I'm almost done with the series. I'm kind of sad, but after 14 books in the series, you get kind of, whoo, yeah. Anyways, the next one I want to start. I done done that this weekend. So that gets checked off. I have to worry about that one. <coughs> um, it'll be White Water Wooing. And that is in the River Branch Inn series. So that is three books I want. Three ebooks. Sorry. Let me get it right. That I want to read this week. And a physical copy. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, that is my wrap up. My TBR for next week. And I might go off it a little bit. And start another Wyoming Men series. It just depends how I feel this week. Sometimes I go back to TBR. Sometimes I don't. So we will see. Anyways, tell me what you're reading this week, what you have read this weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.